Here's the LM317 voltage regulator that I made a while back. And this has a variable resistor, so you can adjust the output voltage. And right now I'm playing around with it and I am charging a set of supercapacitors. Uh, super They're 2.7 volt and 100 farad and they are in parallel and I'm gonna charge them pretty close to 2.7 volt. I set the charging voltage to 2.69 and I'm using a couple of resistors to limit the current and now it's pretty much coming towards the end of the charge. It's uh, passing through about 40 to 50 milliamps and the voltage is at about 2.55 and this is how I set up the uh, resistors for it this is the reference voltage of the LM317 1.25 and uh, if you want to charge and regulate uh, 300 milliamps, you would divide 1.25 by uh, 0.3 for a 300 milliamp charge, and you would have to use a 4 ohm resistor. And if you were to increase the charge to 600 milliamps, uh, you would need a 2 ohm resistor and 1 watt uh, value. And the input of your regulator, you would uh, need 2.7 volts for the charge and, and another 3 volts for the LM317, the voltage drop. So you would need at least 5.7 volts at the input there and the output you can set uh, like I did to 2.7. and. Actually, I was trying to set up something that would stop the charging or rather uh, indicate the end of charging by using a transistor. But uh, that sort of not working that well. Um, it stayed lit even though it came to the end of the charge. So anyway. Uh, now it's going to 2.58. Uh, in a way, uh, that's all you're going to get um, about 2.69 because the regulator set the voltage at 2.69. It's not going to go beyond that. Uh, the only thing that I added to this is the resistors. So you would have a uh, regulated current so that you won't uh, you don't you won't pass too much current through the super cap super capacitors uh, especially when when uh, the voltage uh, is down very close to zero because if you pass a lot of current through it um, everything will get very hot so uh, the current limiting resistors uh, would would uh, stop that. So this is for 600 milliamp charge. If you want a 300 milliamp charge, you would uh, use a uh, 4 ohm resistor. And after this experiment, I will be playing, I will be trying to using the LM317 to regulate the voltage of uh, 1 watt LEDs and I will probably mount the LEDs to this fixture here. This is actually solar light and it's all metal. I think it's stainless steel so I can use that as a heat sink and I will just uh, connect the output of the regulated voltage uh, also current limited and uh, I will have uh, another video on this. Of course, the best way to charge the LED is to use a 
voltage and current um, booster. This is a constant current, uh, constant voltage regulator. And this one, I just got it as a LED. And two resistors here to limit the current. Plus, the thing I like about this is uh, it has a USB output. So, I will probably connect this to my PC power supply. So, this would, uh, would be a good addition. This is 10 amps and uh, has a heatsink on it. So, there will be another video on this. Alright, thanks for watching.